Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so I was on my way to bed when a viewer happened to send me that XDA developers have figured out how to remap the Bigsby button. So I thought I'd immediately do a video on it and not go to sleep. So this is it. It's downloading an app called All In One Gestures. So once you download this app, you start it up, you allow, 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 allow permissions, go back, and then you have to allow hard keys. Now to enable this, you have to go into here, settings, accessibility. So you go into here, swipe up, and services, you want all-in-one gestures on. This will allow it to override physical keys and what they do. So that being said, we now have here, so we can enable this. And mine is a pre-production model, although I thought that wouldn't matter but there is another physical button on the uh, final version of it that's right here. You make the single tap uh, to launch whatever you want and it is going to show up there. Unfortunately, like I said, mine's pre-production so that button isn't there. I will try to see if there's another way for me to show it on here but basically it should just be right there um, and then you install it and that's it. I will leave a link for the XDA developers uh, tutorial which is just pretty much what I said right now as well as the app itself in the description. So go ahead uh, down below and check it out. And that is how you will remap it. So again, mine's pre-production, so it doesn't have it, but it will be right here. It's something like a number a button, so like a four digit number, and you're able to tap that. And the cool thing is about this, you can do a single tap and then launch a Google Home or a Google Assistant or the camera. If you don't want to double click the power button, this is in a pretty good position just to hit it once to launch the camera right away. Whatever you would like to do, you can launch it with one press now. So if you don't want to use Bigsby, you don't have to, and it's just that easy to override it. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Make sure to check out all of our other coverage on the Galaxy S8. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.